Good evening, and welcome to Join the Discussion, a monthly show about senior health and wellness. My name is Madeline Franchese. I am the Vice President of Marketing and Development for Hebrew Senior Care, formerly known as Hebrew Healthcare. Hebrew Senior Care offers specialized health and living services for seniors throughout the state, located in West Hartford, Connecticut. Tonight's guests are two experts about senior day services. I have with us tonight Jennifer DeSetti. She is the director of Active Day Day Center in East Hartford, as well as the president of the Connecticut Association of Adult Day Services. She is joined by Charmaine Emond. She is the director of Hebrew Senior Care Senior Day Center and the vice president of the Connecticut Association of Senior Day Centers. And tonight, we're gonna to ask these two ladies everything we wanna know about senior day centers, but we're afraid to ask. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Happy New Year to both of you. Happy Same New to you. Year. Wow, there's a lot to talk about. And the first question is senior day, adult day. The, the, the words are interchangeable, but yes. are they? It is. Um, we're seeing a lot of early onset individuals with dementia or cognitive impairments. Mm. Um, we're the earliest one that we've had in our senior day center was 53 years old. So our ages and clientele can range from as young as 50 or younger to as old as 100, 102. So adult and senior are both applicable. Okay, so what I'm hearing is, it's not necessarily your age that determines whether you need to access senior day services. So I know there are a lot of challenges when you have um, either a loved one, a spouse, who maybe is struggling or a parent. Some of the key warning signs, um, they're not socializing, they're not maybe eating, it's not safe at home, um, sort of sitting around all day, not being active, Maybe they have the beginnings of dementia or they're, you know, along the journey already. Um, and caregivers could also just be exhausted with doing appointments all day long. Talk about how senior day centers uh, address these challenges, because I think that is, correct me if I'm wrong, why you exist. So talk about why, why do senior day centers exist, Jennifer? So I think it's harder as you get older to socialize with your peers. You find it harder to get out, to mm. meet with people. And I think we offer an opportunity for people to get out and socialize, um, but also um, meet some medical needs that they might have. Um, as their medical needs change, uh, if you go to a medical model center, you'll have a nurse on staff. You'll be able to get personal care if you need with that, but also be able to do the things that you love to do, mm -hmm. continue to do the things you love to do. So let me back up a minute. Um, do all day centers provide transportation options? So every center is a little bit different. There are 49 centers in the state, so each center uh, works a little bit differently. The majority do have some sort of transportation, whether they provide their own transportation or whether they're able to assist with transportation with a town service mm -hmm. or an outside service. Okay, like so dial-a-ride. I, I know at the Senior Day Center at Huber Senior Care, we have four buses that were donated through, that we adore and pick people up mm -hmm. within a seven-mile radius. Right. But a loved one could easily drop someone off, mm -hmm. dial a ride, access yeah. your bus services. Um, you made a comment before about medical services. What's the difference between a medical and a social model and how do you know which you need mm -hmm. and do you transfer? You know, so if you start with a social model, sure. do you move to a medical model or can you stay right where you are? It's often possible, work? yep, depending on individual needs and things that they need. A medical model will have a, will have a full, full time nurse on staff. Okay. Um, she could administer medications, do treatments, do health assessments. How many out of the 49, if you know, are medical models in our state? Do you know that? I don't have the exact percentage, but it's over 50% okay. are medical models. Okay. And social models and medical models do meet different needs. Um, to back up a little bit, when you are mentioning about Alzheimer's and dementia, not every client that comes to an adult or senior day center has a cognitive impairment. Okay. Some people just come for socialization. So if that person started mm -hmm. off in a social model and maybe developed diabetes, et cetera, and needed more of a medical model, then they could transfer. And all of the day centers that are part of the association 
are, work well together. We have okay. monthly meetings, so we get together. In fact, Jennifer and I actually had an opportunity a few years ago to share a client really? because it How met both of her needs. <laughs> well, she lived right behind um, Jennifer's day center, but she loved our day center and Aww. she loved her days and she couldn't decide. Oh, how lovely. So we shared her. Yeah. So it's not as competitive as people would think, mm -hmm. and we work together. That makes sense because I think yeah. the people who get into this line of work, uh, adult day centers, senior day centers, you're really in it for the families and the clients right. True. and yeah. to make their lives easier. Now, I know um, that day centers have hours, mm -hmm. although I know our director doesn't seem to subscribe to them because she's there morning, noon, and night. I True. am going to say that plug about our director of our day center. <laughs> but how does that work? Because I know when I had young kids with daycare, and I don't want to equate it, but you're at late, you're running late, you can't get there, it closes. How does it work with senior day centers? Is it the same kind of Right, so every day center is a little bit different, but most have extended hours. Okay. So between the hours of 7 to 5.30, possibly 6, they would be open. Okay. Um, might not run transportation during those hours, but available for families to transport um, the, fam the caregiver, the caregiver. Uh, the the member themselves. And would there be activities in extended hours as well? So if your daycare is open, day, if your senior day center is open from 10 to 2, what are you doing from 8 to 5.30 if I can ask? Structure programs are developed depending on the clientele that are using our extended hours. Okay. So you may not have a planned program because you're not sure who's going to be dropped off early or picked mm. up late. We have a lot of doctors that use our services for their parent, but we also have Teachers that drop off their children at school, drop off mom or dad to day center, mm. and maybe have a class conference that day and need wow. to pick up late. It's a full day for it people. It is, when and you sometimes it is a very long day, so we have to have structure, but we're not doing programs for the entire program because they also need rest periods like us. Mm. We're not going to do an activity for 12 hours. Right. So you want to have structure, physical exercise, cognitive programs, creative programs, music. We want to stimulate all the areas. Give me an example of what a day would be like. In a, in, in, you can use your day centers. What's mm -hmm. a typical day in a day center? Well, the driver's going to call and greet the person, say, hi, good morning, this is Charmaine, are you coming to day center today? Great, here's your pickup time. And that's for an individual who's going to ride the bus. Wait, so they get a call every day? Absolutely. Oh, wow. And if they're not coming, we want to know why. Okay. And then our nurse is going to follow up to make sure that they're okay because we're a medical model. So if you're a child living out of state and you have parents living in Connecticut and you're worried, day centers are a wonderful way to sort of fill in a little bit of the time that you cannot worry <laughs> to exactly. say, look, yeah. I'm going to link up with the day center so that I know mom's getting her food, getting right. the meal she mm -hmm. needs. Okay, so that's yeah. another function for day centers if you're a caregiver and you're listening and you exactly. need a break or you're not living in state and you're not sure what to do about mom and dad. Right. It also offers that health monitoring. You know, right. if you have a nurse on staff, they can kind of monitor things and keep keep an eye on how their health is. Very doing. proactive, mm -hmm. actually. Do people who go to day centers have a longer survival rate? I mean, in terms of, um, I think we can keep yes. them in the community yeah. longer. I think that's important and active for people that um, want to stay in the community as long as possible. Um, it's it's doable with uh, attending a center. So talk about what a day is like. What do you do? So after we make the phone call and the clients are on the bus and it is a joy on the bus, they'll sing songs, they'll have <laughs> discussion groups. The drivers are also our program assistants, at least in our senior day center. And oh, once that's they arrive, great. so they're yeah. very familiar with who's picking them Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, that's, that's terrific. It's an extended part of our program. Mm -hmm. When they arrive, they have a light snack. Some some centers do full breakfasts. Our clientele just required a small breakfast, so it's like cereal, juice, mm -hmm. coffee, tea. And then we have a current events program, and we'll talk all the hot topics. Really? You know, no topic is off mm -hmm. limits because we're working with adults. So if they right. want to hear about something tragic in the news, we're going to discuss that. We normally keep it uplifting and happy, but today we had a big political discussion. So it all depends on what they want to talk about. So that's wonderful. So you have rigorous conversation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they challenge mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. I mean, I think people's image of a day senior day center, quite frankly, is probably people attending a program where they sit, possibly. And that's not at all. Oh, I know no. walking through our day center, I s 
say five out of ten times a day. I'll be back. I want to go to day center. They're, they're having <laughs> fun. They're yeah. having fun and yeah. they're laughing and they're engaged with each other. And sure. it really is a wonderful environment. Um, and I think in our center, probably similar with your center, they have a choice. Um, so they, we meet every month, and they ask what activities they'd like to oh, do. Oh, okay. We do quite a few trips, I think, probably, yes. like your center as well. So they have a choice in, in the trips they want to go out to. What kind of trips do, people, do you take them on? Well, our center loves shopping. <laughs> so they're constantly going to their favorite dollar store okay. or their department store. They love to go to local restaurants. Um, our center happens to be kosher. So some of our clientele who practice kosher at home would love to go out and get a cheeseburger and not tell their wife, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> sorry so, if you're watching. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Or, you know, so it's a special adventure. Our men have, I have a male staff person, very fortunate to have a male mm. staff person. We'll do men's out trips where they ha go out and have pizza and non-alcoholic beer. Oh, I you love know? it. So whatever they want to do within reason. Mm -hmm. They would love to go to the casino, but the time constraints do not allow it because it's too far away for mm -hmm. us. They're really hoping that the casino will yeah. happen right. closer to home. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's on their bucket list. Right. So not everything that they ask for can happen, mm -hmm. but we bring the casino to them. Okay. So for example, we'll do blackjack. Today, you know, they're having blackjack and playing with the slot machine that we got. That's so, great. So, you know, they are excited about it. We didn't make their need 100%. But we got about 80%. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it's person centered care. E exactly. Are senior day centers accredited and are they regulated? So let's spend a little bit of time talking about if someone's out there listening, feels they need a center for their parent or their spouse, how do they do it? What are they, who do they call? Where do they start? Sure. So we're a peer certified um, uh, association. So that means that um, peers, our peers, other people from the adult day centers um, come and, and supervise us and, and, and accredit us. Oh, okay. Um, accreditation can either be a two or three year um, cer certification. Um, and we follow guidelines that the state has gone through and looked at um, and set up, help, helped us set up. Okay. And are all the guidelines and the regulations the same? Medical has one social another, or are there overlapping guidelines? Uh, overlapping guidelines, some differences, again, with um, having a nurse on staff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do all day centers do things like showers? And where, you know, I know ours does, but mm -hmm. do all of them offer that if it's a medical model or not necessarily? Medical models, yes. Mm -hmm. Medical okay. models, it's in the plan of care. Oh, okay. Um, so it implies if it's a medical model, your loved one could get a shower, could get assistance with all right. that. Yes. And part okay. of our regulations is that if we're a medical model, that we have a shower and there's certain safety okay. precautions in place. And when you're talking about regulations and accreditations and funding, et cetera, mm -hmm. there's all different types of funding for adult day centers. Um, there's a Connecticut care, home care program for the elderly. There's long-term care insurance. There's grants available. So when a person comes into our day center, we're going to evaluate them to see their personal needs as well as their financial needs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pair up each individual with the services that will meet their needs and help them get those either grants or um, other programs that they could help with the cost of day center. Can I ask what is a day rate for day center for private pay? Like what do people Depending on the center, it does go with region. So for my day center with transportation, private pay is $85. Okay, and that includes your meals, your help, includes your nurse. Includes everything, mm -hmm. includes yeah. skilled nursing visit, et cetera. So okay. if a doctor says you have a wound that needs to be treated, oh. they're not going to pay extra for that. That's all inclusive. Nor do they have mm -hmm. to worry about leaving work to take their loved right. one to the physician right. to deal with exactly. the wound. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can get blood work done at the day center, physical mm. therapy, occupational therapy, oh, wow. speech therapy. So um, in some centers like ours, we have a hairdresser so they can get their hair done. Um, there's a coffee shop. So there's different things yeah, that places they can, they can go. go buy a few exactly. Things. Okay. So that's a so one-stop shopping. Mm -hmm. Which is terrific. Um, day centers can be used for respite care already too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So yep, how does that a, work? There is a respite grant through the Area Association on Aging um, that pro can provide um, uh, some limited time uh, for respite care for caregivers. So how do they access that grant or find out? Or so they can go to Area Agency on oh, okay. Aging website okay. um, and there's a link to the application for the respite care grant. 
Wonderful. Okay. Also important to mention many centers are open on the weekends, so either Saturdays or Sundays. Oh. So some centers are open seven days a week. Uh, so there it provides time for people that work right. um, to get a break during the weekend. Right. Um, their family member can come to our centers uh, over the weekend and they can do the errands and, exactly. and all the things that they need to do to, uh, for the weekend. Do any of the centers open at nighttime for that situation where someone's wandering and they need to sleep but the, everything else is taken care of except the nighttime? Yeah. No, I don't um, know. No, because no, yeah. we are a day center. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> if it becomes night, then it becomes more of an assisted living Got setting. It. Okay. Again, and, back to regulation and right. how you defined. Mm -hmm. And so it's very specific to okay. what we can, we can do extended hours. And Ooh. I know sometimes our extended hours have gone to eight o'clock, mm -hmm. but it's not set up for people to be sleeping, et cetera. Okay. Um, can people trial day centers? Like, can you go to different ones and? Yeah, so very important um, in looking for a day center for your loved one to try different ones, to take tours of different mm -hmm. ones, and find one that really fit, fits your individual needs. What do you look for, though, when you say fit your individual needs? What fits mom's individual, how do I know what fits mom's individual need at 82 when sure. she doesn't for, always know what day it is? Yeah, sure. So, for example, if, if the person is socially isolated and needs to be engaged, they might want to go to a more active day center. Mm -hmm. But okay. if a person is overstimulated with a large group, they might need a smaller day center. Mm -hmm. We have individuals to come access our facility because we have lovely grounds to walk around and we have on-site physical therapy. Mm -hmm. um, a person who just you know, recently had a fall, et cetera, and needs to have the physical therapy, they're going to come to us. Mm -hmm. every, out of the 49 day centers, everyone meets special needs. Mm -hmm. on, on every director, we have our directory. Yeah. We'll say. Is that directory public? It is public. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you can get that through the Connecticut Association of Adult Day Centers. Yes. yes. And Correct. you have a website. We and have a website. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to try the acronym. <laughs> <laughs> But we'll go through it and say, I would recommend you to go this day center, this day center. Got so it. we're going to do referrals. As oh, Jennifer wow. said, some day centers are open seven days a week. My center is only open Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So if they need the two days, I'm going to call my sister day centers and say, hey, I have this client who needs mm. Saturday and Sunday. Can we, can we share? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times there's competition. Uh, for the marketplace and healthcare, for any industry, but right. you now for for the patient and for the client, mm -hmm. and it sounds like your your um, association and how you as executives view what you do is all collaborative. It's all about the client, right. and it's yeah. it however be. it's yeah. better sure. right for them mm -hmm. and their families. Right. The individuals that come into our centers, regardless of medical or social are like our extended family, yeah. they're our grandparents. Mm -hmm. How do we want our parents to be treated? Mm -hmm. This is how we treat the clientele that come into our program. Right. It's really important. And we've had longevity. Jennifer and I have been in the field forever, it seems like. <laughs> how um, long have you each been in the field? I've been at my facility right now 24 years. So you're a newcomer. I'm a newcomer. <laughs> but in the healthcare industry, I've been in the field for 35 years. Right. So. It's we develop, you know, these attachments to our clientele yes. and the love of what we do. Yeah. How long have you been in this? The same, 25 wow. years. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's important to continue to enrich their lives. Absolutely. Um, and this is a way to, to keep them home mm -hmm. and to keep them active um, and to, to help monitor their health needs. Now, your, your backgrounds are therapeutic recreation. I mean, how did you get into day center work? Actually, I, I started as an intern at the facility that I'm currently at. Oh my God! Um, and actually worked at the Hebrew Center for a while oh, that's um, funny. in my in my career, and then uh, went back to where I was and oh, have okay. been there ever since. So yeah, not a. And how did you find your way into? Well, adult actually, the services? facility that I'm at now, Hebrew Senior Care. Um, took me away from another facility that I was at. Oh, good um, for them. So they marketed me and grabbed me. <laughs> and when I started the organization, Jennifer was my trainer, which is very that's funny. Right. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah. And we reconnected through the organization of Adult Day Center since kept in contact. So it's it's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're following each other. Right. We are. Yes. association yep, we as are. well. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really nice to have that connection. But healthcare is so small. So mm -hmm. a lot of the directors know each other from either working with each other or spending time with each other so mm. it's a it's a lovely mm. field to be in talk about how you help the family members 
Because you do. Yeah. It, it's mm -hmm. really not just the client that's dropping off no. and see you tomorrow, see you later. Right. No, you're really right. involved with the family members. We do a lot of social services, work mm -hmm. with the family members, and the family member cannot necessarily just be a son or a daughter. Mm. It could be a niece. It could be a caretaker who's taking care of the individual, depending on their family dynamics. So we identify when they're having caregiver burnout. We encourage support groups. We will sit and talk with them and make sure that their needs are being met as well. Um, we try to be proactive and prevent anything negative from happening. Mm. So when we're looking at following up a client that might be having a weight loss or a weight gain, and we see a family member that comes in with circles under their eyes, we're going to ask them how they're doing. Mm. You know, do they need any services in the home? Mm. You know, because sometimes families don't recognize when it's time to allow others to come in to get a person it's care hard assistant. when you're caregiving we, right. we see it all the time so we ask center. point yeah. point blank questions how mm -hmm. are you doing did you sleep last night They're everybody's advocates we have to be right because I, it's not just one person yeah and I think in my nursing department they're the first line of defense you know mm. they're there to answer questions mm -hmm. and sometimes easier to contact than maybe a doctor's office I, I, exactly mm -hmm. so it's not only that your loved one is safe you have a real resource when your loved ones at a day center right. it's sort of the conduit mm -hmm. to all the other next steps True. because you right. are involved and have access to all of that knowledge and all of those people yeah. um, I know we're coming down to the end already. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, how big are the day centers? Like how many people in a typical day center? 40? Are you so talking really about 20? It could range. We yeah. have centers that are small, uh, okay. 10 people oh, okay. or, That's or 15 small. people. And then up to centers that are 100. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So there are some, it's it's every every range. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so again, you decide what's more comfortable and easy for you and best for the person you're placing. Mm -hmm. How do you know if your loved one's having a good experience? That's How a great know? question. Yeah. Um, we, know, we need to know the baseline of the individual, and that's part of the assessment process. Um, a lot of family members don't know if their loved one's having a good day, so we will give a report and we'll give an update when they either come pick them up or we'll call mm. them and say, you would, you know, your mother was up dancing today at the, you know, the musical entertainment, or we and did this or we did that. are they surprised when they hear things like they that? Are. They are. They are. You know, one of, one of the things that the association is very proud of is that we have art shows. So we're going yes. to be featured at the Alzheimer's mm -hmm. Association's art show in April. So I know all the day centers that participate are busy doing art projects right now to get ready for the art show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll show them the artwork that their family members did because we're we're like, this is going to be the art show. You can't have it until after the art show, <laughs> right, right. you know, and then it goes to legislative office building in May. So they won't get their artwork until June, but they're excited, you know, so well, it's such if they, pride. they exactly. still are productive. Mm -hmm members of society in, in, well, in all these ways. Absolutely. It's a misconception that elderly people are frail and old and are not productive. <laughs> we work for purpose-filled programs. So we'll do um, the vegetable garden for the food pantry, Jesse's oh, Garden. Um, we'll do wonderful. collections for the homeless. We cook for the shelter in Hartford. So we're and not I know just as doing um, programs. The, the VP of Fundraising at Hebrew Senior Care, they also put together some of my mailings and my gift bags when I do tours right. and open right. houses. Mm -hmm. And in fact, a funny little story. Um, it's just such a wonderful environment, day centers, I, I, I find. And when they were doing that project, one of the ladies turned around and said, you know, I think we have to unionize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and right. And the joke became Norma Ray for the sure. day. And so I think going into day centers, I had one vision of what it may be like and why you would need it. And now I have a different vision. Mm -hmm. I have a vision of it being alive and and being so much fun. And it's like every day is summer camp and they're right. all special campers. Yeah. And not to be demeaning at all. But I know from our day center, I see people walk in and their, their eyes light up. Mm -hmm. And the more you get to know about them, you know, I'm just getting to learn with one of the clients, he's a huge Red Sox fan as I am. So that's, we're counting down the days to spring training. I don't even know if Charmaine yes. knows that. but. That is the real purpose, I think, of day centers. To and being able to build relationships and, and make friends. Right. Right. When it's hard, Client when you're isolated staff. at home. Right. right. It, it yeah. really is a family. Mm -hmm. um, and 
I know we're coming to the end soon. So I want to ask you both the same question I sort of ask all my guests, if it were your parents, because that's who you're going to give the best advice to about this topic. What are the three tips you would give them as it relates to senior day centers, either when you need to know to get one or just anything? Mm -hmm. Jennifer, you want to start? So, so I would say, you share. <laughs> sure, I would say um, uh, definitely take a tour and take advantage of the free trial day. Okay. Um, because it's really important to get to know the center that you're going to be at mm -hmm. and your family member is going to be at. Ask a lot of questions. Ask questions from the staff. Ask mm. questions from the other participants that are there, and really, um, you know, find out what the day is like. Right. Um, also, give it a chance. Sometimes that first day isn't quite right. Sometimes it's mm. scary it's confusing it's a um, but give it a chance um, give it a, a week or two mm -hmm. um, keep asking questions and, and keep giving it a try because usually you, you end up loving it and okay. you end up finding good friends and mm. um, good companionship and and really extending your life okay sure me the other thing is to pop in don't necessarily have an appointment. Pop mm -hmm. in and just go visit and see. With so, your loved one or by yourself? It depends. Either. Yeah. You know, we, we love to see the loved one because it's also our way to evaluate to see if mm -hmm. the person's appropriate. There are some day centers that are more appropriate for others, and we're going to mm -hmm. be very honest about that. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a mission criteria, so we want to see that loved one to make sure that we can accommodate their needs. And that's really important as well. But to ask questions, talk to the nurse, talk, like Jennifer said, talk to the participants. We're going to have you come for the whole day, mm -hmm. you know, start to finish. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is it like college when you go with your children and you're told, doesn't matter what you like, be quiet. Notice your child being comfortable and happy. Well, Same we kind of thing when you're dropping off your parent, maybe at a day center, you're going to have... Maybe that visceral reaction of, oh my God, my mom's at a day center. Right. But if your mom's happy, let your mom be the determinant right. factor. Well, we do a right. balance. We ask for hopes, dreams, desires of both of the participant oh, and the loved one. There you go. Because what if the long-term goal is eventually to go to long-term care? So we're going to have a different mm. you know, plan of care for them than if they're going to stay home. So we're going to look at all of that. Yeah. So what is the family's hopes, dreams, and desires, and what's the participant? Participant's hopes, dreams, desires trumps family because it's person-centered <laughs> care, but we'd like to Good accommodate you. everybody's. You know, this has been wonderful, and I want to thank both of you for joining me tonight. Um, if you're watching, and I hope you're watching, <laughs> please, if you have questions for either Jennifer or Charmaine about Senior Day Centers, um, you can email me at jointhediscussion at hebrewseniorcare.org. Um, also, if you'd like to suggest a topic for an upcoming show, you can also email me at that same address. Join the discussion at HebrewSeniorCare.org. Thank you both again for, for being with us. Thank you for I having us. I encourage you, if you do need or think you want to talk about Senior Day Centers, to either call Jennifer or mm -hmm. Charmaine. Um, you can look them up at the Connecticut Association of Adult Centers. Oh, I said it wrong. Connecticut Association, Connecticut Association of Adult day services mm -hmm. <laughs> so please find them um, their programs are extraordinary have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us see you next month